Welcome back to Chris Builds. This is episode three on the triple clamp for my Ducati project. On this episode, I'm gonna be working on these radiuses and all these features in the middle of the part. I'm gonna do that with the bandsaw and the rotary table on the mill. That's what's next. Let's get started. Okay, so thinking out loud about what's next on this part, I really need to machine these radiuses and these features that are not at 90 degrees to the axis of the mill. And the way I'm going to do that is by setting it up on the rotary table. So for these tubes, these fork tube holders, for example, I'll set those up to center on the rotary table and then rotate the part like this. There's definitely a couple challenges here. The first is I have a really small mill and this is a really big part. So I am a little concerned, particularly on these, uh, if I'll have the space to swing the part in the mill and not hit anything. That's the challenges I'm facing. I'm hoping I can get through them. Let's go. I just wanted to pause a minute and take a look at these chamfers. I am super happy with how these came out. This cutter is doing a fantastic job on these.
Okay, I think this is the setup for milling the radius on the fork tube holders. I did some work off camera because no one wants to sit there and watch you futz with a fixture and a dial indicator for two hours. But hey, I got it running, reasonably true, and I think it's good enough to cut these radiuses. Let's try it. Quick status update on this triple clamp. Looking pretty good. I got the radiuses close to done. Definitely some finish work I'm gonna have to do on there. Pretty happy with these. These look really, really good. So now I'm gonna flip it around to the other side and do these, round off this, and do the chamfers on the bottom. All right, everyone, that's the end of part three on this triple clamp build. We machined all the parts that require the rotary table and are not perpendicular to the milling access. I have to say, I learned a lot doing that. I am definitely finding the limits of a manual mill and learning what you can pull off successfully and what you can't. The important part in this part is I got all the critical dimensions right. These fork tubes fit great on the motorcycle. It's got a nice slide fit onto the forks as is. Really happy with that. And it holds the Motoscope Mini in this slot right here. So I'm pretty happy with how it's functioning. Definitely all the aesthetics were really hard to get right on a manual mill. These things like where this radius meets this straight edge, very hard to get right, especially with these chamfers but I'm not gonna say I'm super happy with it. I am mildly happy. <laughs> so we'll go with that. After I get everything machined, I can clean it up with Scotch-Brite wheel on the die grinder and get it nice and get it good enough aesthetically that I'm happier with it. So that's the end of part three. Part four is gonna be really interesting. In part four, we're gonna fixture this on the mill in a way that allows me to cut these slots and machine these bolt holes to turn our clamp into a clamp. That's coming up next on part four. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.